So the New York Rangers have been eliminated from contention, so what is the next step for them going forward, and how will they improve to maybe take the next step and eventually get to a Stanley Cup final appearance? If you've been on this channel, you've already known I've gone into deep detail about each game in this series. Not to belabor the point, Criders, Benajad, and Panarin were ghosts against the Florida Panthers. And if they are going to go anywhere, they're going to need those players to show out. A player that has really impressed me since becoming a New York Ranger has been Vincent Trocek, and he kept up his great play into the playoffs. So that's a guy with his cap hit you love because for what he's giving you offensively, it's kind of a bargain. But they will have some interesting decisions to make going forward. Capo Caco is a restricted free agent. Will they bring him back into the fold or will they just let him walk? Do they hope that he can take the next step like Lafreniere did this past year? If he does come back, I don't think it's going to be for much money. And then on the back end, you have Adam Fox locked up for a while. Lindgren is a restricted free agent. That's a defenseman they definitely need to re-sign. Schneider's also an RFA, and on the plus side of this Rangers defense... Most of the decor is extremely young and can keep getting better as the years go on. Now, Jacob Truba, he didn't have a great year and he was uh, not so hot in the playoffs, if I'm being very kind. He was taking a lot of dumb penalties. He was really making some poor defensive decisions like the first goal last night. Why did he play it the way he did? That allowed for a very easy entry for Bennett to eventually score. The Rangers have him until 2026. He's $8 million. Do I think they buy him out? Uh, I'm not too sure on that. That's going to be some dead money against the cap. And maybe you hope Truba has a bounce back year. He is only 30 years old. It's not like he's ancient. This could have been just a down year. I mean, we've seen that with defensemen before. They'll have a down year or two, and then they'll snap themselves out of that funk. As for other notable restricted free agents, Roslovic, Wenberg, Blake Wheeler, and Gustafson, that will definitely be interesting to see what they do. Do you bring back Blake Wheeler, or do you let some of the young guys just come up to the NHL and have a bigger role? I think Wenberg, for what he is, he's a solid middle six guy. Same thing with Roslovic. And Gustafson, I think that's definitely a guy you have to bring back if you can afford him. And the goaltending situation, you have both goalies coming back, Igor Shosturkin and Jonathan Quick. Quick at this point in his career is a terrific backup to have at 1.275 million, you can't complain. And Igor Shosturkin is one of the best goaltenders in the world. But not just this upcoming offseason, but the one after. They're going to have some interesting decisions to make. Lafreniere's contract will come up again in 2025. Same thing with Cooley, Keandre Miller, and Igor Shosturkin, unrestricted free agent. And for how good he is, how dominant he plays... That's going to be a guy that gets paid a lot of money, whether it's in New York or outside of it. While a lot of Ranger fans are heartbroken, outside of some of the contract decisions going forward, this team does have a good core. If they make a couple adjustments, I think they could eventually get past a stacked team like the Florida Panthers. But even if they make some nice additions, if Panarin, Kreider, and Zibanejad do not produce in these big series in this one against Florida, it doesn't really matter. Panarin is considered one of the best players in the NHL, and he really did not play like that in this series. So that's extremely hard to overcome when your star player just doesn't look like a star. So while not the ending they wanted, the New York Rangers are still a very good hockey team, and if they can tweak a few things, they should be right back in the thick of it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section. What do you want the New York Rangers to do this upcoming offseason? Who do you want them to retain? Do you want them to make a trade? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm Captain Paul. I'll see you in the next one.